talk about. So here's the thing. As we go into Monday and Tuesday, these are now weather impact alert days. It is Monday and Tuesday that we have the coastal impacts Monday and then the heavy rain impacts continue through Tuesday. So if you have plans to work or do outdoor activities Monday, Tuesday, just hold on a second, put them on hold and stay very close to the forecast as we head through the weekend. So Monday, Tuesday, all tropical threats are in play. Keep abreast of the forecast and be ready to take action. And yes, if you saw high water on the coast during Alberto last month, you are likely, if not, expect to see that type of inundation again, if not higher, as this uh, storm is now forecast to be a cat one and move in near Matagorda Bay, between Corpus and Matagorda Bay. And you see the hurricane watches, those were up this afternoon. That's been extended further up the coast now, all the way up to San Luis Pass. So that includes the Brazos Port, Clute, ja uh, Lake Jackson area, and then all the way down to Matagorda Bay, Palacios Sea Drift, and all the way down to Corpus Christi and beyond. So on the coast here and near the coast, this is where we could see Monday, winds with the storm 74 to 90 miles an hour. It is possible as is forecast to be a 90 mile an hour cat one hurricane as it makes landfall. Zooming out and we'll show you where the storm is. It has now exited the Yucatan and it's back over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, moving north northwest now and taking aim at the Texas coast. The storm itself is here and as of 10 o'clock it has winds of 60 miles an hour. It's a moderately strong tropical storm. It was a two when it went inland uh, earlier and now it's weakened down to a tropical storm moving west northwest west at 13 and that track is forecast to continue. This storm is forecast to be a cat one. It is forecast to make landfall somewhere in here near the middle Texas coast north of Corpus Christi, maybe near Matagorda Bay, maybe just west of Matagorda Bay. Monday morning as a 90 mile an hour cat one hurricane. That's a strong cat one. And again, the cone suggests that it could be a little further to the right of that middle or it could be a little further to the left. So still some uncertainty into the exact position of landfall. Once it moves inland, it'll make this arc and since we'll be on the dirty side of that arc Monday and the first part of Tuesday, that will be a heavy rain threat. But now take a look, still forecast to be a tropical storm as it moves further inland. So we may have tropical storm force winds all the way to Columbus, to Brenham, Wharton as we head through the day on Monday. And then the rain threat, five to seven inches of rain is likely along and to the east side, to the right hand side of the center. That is the dirty side on the wet side of the storm. So a wind threat and a heavy rain threat, wind threat on the coast and even moving inland. Here's a closer look at the rain timing by Sunday evening. The storm is here and we begin to see rain chances really pick up along the coast Sunday evening, Sunday night. Then we go into Monday morning. That's when it's making landfall as a cat one heavy rain along and to the right of the center. That's by 10, 11 o'clock in the morning on Monday. So Monday may be a very wet and stormy day likely to be no matter exactly where you are along the middle and upper Texas coast. We go through Monday night into Tuesday morning and still with the storm centered here north of Huntsville, we could still be in the across hairs for more heavy rain even going through the day on Tuesday.